Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another edition of Beauty, Strength, and Dominance, the official LFC Lingerie Fighting Championships podcast. I am your host, Mike Larkin, and joining me today, you have seen their work on the LFC calendar and everything that is involved with their products in general with the LFC sponsor. We got Kyle Rao and Amber Kala of Healthy Mail. How are you guys doing? 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 Very well. Great. Thank you. First and foremost, it's a pleasure and privilege to have you guys on the show because we get to see a lot of beautiful women such as yourself, Miss Amber, in regards to influencers and lingerie fighting championship within the calendar and the healthy male products. And Kyle, I got to say, you guys do amazing work with your products and everything, getting yourself out there from the influencers and models and everything in between. So first and foremost, I got to give you the utmost respect for everything that you do. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Uh, you are very welcome. So let's start from the beginning here. How did healthy male come into fruition? Because it's helped a lot of males, females of different aspects and all facets of life. So how did healthy male come into fruition? You know, about 22 years ago, I started out of our house, um, you know, looking for an easy way for men to obtain um, embarrassment of products, you know, such as Viagra being our flagship uh, to start with and you know, hair loss products, uh, weight loss and uh, antivirals and stuff, stuff like that. Well, I think what's really cool about that is, too, a lot of guys go through stuff, whether it be sexual health, like you mentioned, Viagra and stuff, which is helpful for all men of all different shapes and sizes from the sexual side of things and overall internally and externally. So I look at it from a stance, too, of this is a product that can help people, like with every field of medicine and pills. I got to say, from that aspect, it's a hot market. It's a hot content provided, and it really helps a lot of people. And I think that's wonderful because that's, I think, what we need to do in life, right? Absolutely. You know, we started small and, you know, um, decided to, you know, build up uh, upon that. Uh, we um, started advertising um, in USA Today, um, you know, in several magazines, um, you know, and here we are today, you know, with uh, over 200 different websites and um, uh, a lot of stuff in the works. Uh, some of the stuff being uh, our BitRx platform, which is uh, going to be a, um, a platform for pharmaceuticals to compete, you know, uh, in price. Uh, you know, uh, comparative pricing for consumers. Uh, another one is our, our doctor.com platform uh, to um, connect uh, patients with doctors from the comfort of their home. Everything here, the reason why we're here is because people can order our product easily, safely, and from the comfort of their home. I think that's wonderful. I mean, with everything that went on with the coronavirus and COVID, I mean, remote and overall telehealth is really big, important of what we've seen. You know, as we get back to some new sense of normalcy, if you will, as it's perhaps it's coin, you know, the new norm. I think it's wonderful from the remote side of things and everybody has that comfortability from their home. I mean, it really works all around from everybody from a business standpoint and just an overall accommodation and comfortability standpoint. Absolutely. And I did want to show you this. Uh, um, you know, this is our book here. I actually told my story here at American Entrepreneur. So if anybody wants a copy of this, they can email at uh, the healthymail.com link and just mention LFC box and I'll go ahead and send them a copy. I got to say, guys, please check out the book. It really does provide a lot of great information for Healthy Mail and get the overall synopsis and everything that goes on with the product. Now, Miss Amber Kala, this show is Beauty, Strength and Dominance. And I'm looking at one who exudes and accentuates right there. So as far as an influence side of things and the model type of things, what? how did you come across Healthy Mail? Because we've seen your fitness side of things and you being nine months pregnant. My goodness gracious, the squats and everything that you have gone through, you've done amazing work with the product as well from the fitness side of things. Thank you. Yes, actually, I had met Kyle years before at the community fitness center where I was working. And one day he approached me and said, hey, we're coming up with some new ideas uh, for our product and how to spin it and maybe just get the name out there. What are you thinking about becoming an influencer? And at the time, it was uh, maybe three years ago, three and a half. And I was like, what's an influencer? So I was actually pretty curious and I took him up on it because how hard is it to promote something I already love and do? And all I had to do was wear the logo. And so I started doing that. And as I got more involved with the company and I really liked all the things that they're trying to do and who they're trying to help, I started to become a little bit more comfortable with being more sexual, maybe showing off my body a little bit more, um, talking about the products and promoting it a lot more as I went out into the community. So it just kind of went. 
So like I mentioned there, guys, what's great about it, too, is like, Amber, you were talking about how it makes you feel sexiness and that empowerment. And I think what's big about it, too, is from my front with the beauty, strength and dominance moniker. I always look at that as it's not just the the name of the podcast. It's a mindset. I think a lot of women are queens and all women are queens. So we get to showcase that internal and external beauty, which you so eloquently possess. But it's one of those things, too, where you have a product like this from the fitness side of things and you get to feel sexy. I think that's amazing for women. And you are definitely one of the biggest influence and influencers for healthy males. I got to give you once more some props yeah you're very welcome now kyle let's talk about you here man now how did you come across amber because amber has been a huge fit for your brand with healthy mail how did you get involved with amber here you know um you know uh, we met at the again the fitness center there in the gym and she was training um where you train like older gentlemen uh people with special needs uh female i mean she just trained everybody there and i and but she was very um uh, aggressive or not what's the what i'm looking for where you're you're motivating. She's very motivational. I, I call her a little uh, Jillian Michaels. I think was, I was yelling at my client and he was entertained by it the whole time. <laughs> yeah, because sometimes you just have to say, OK, you got to get off your ass and you got to get moving. And that's where I'm like, yeah, you know, you're right. I mean, uh, other trainers will sit back and say, OK, that's fine. Maybe check their phone. But no, Amber was right in there and saying this is the proper way to do it. Uh, do a couple more reps and, and just uh, push it to the met limit. And uh, I knew that she had a lot of motivation. So I approached her and I said, hey, you know, come to Healthy Mail. Let's do something. And I think, well, first and foremost, I'm going to say right now, a lot of us need that tough love and the proverbial kick in the ass, so to speak. So I understand that. And some of us really need to get up off of that thing, if you know what I'm saying. But it's one of those things, too, as well. I love that because the motivation side of things, and I think you've seen it as well, Kyle, in person, we all need that. And I think a lot of it from a stance, too, is, you know, we have to better ourselves internally and externally. And I look at it from a stance, too. If you don't have that kick in the ass and that tough love, then you know what I'm saying? You're just going to be sitting and you're going to be coasting and you don't want to coast. Exactly. And I always look at it from a stance, too, with progression and succession, no regression. I think you can agree with me on this, Amber. We all like to progress, which strives to success, and you don't want to regress. You know what I'm saying? Moving on upward and onward and forward. Right. And I work for people, believe it or not, even though I'm the one sitting there telling them what to do. They've hired me to do that. And so if I don't hold to that, then I feel like I failed as an employee. And you're right. You have to be healthy inside and out. So with going hand in hand with the healthy male products and everything that they offer, that's internal and and then exercise is also going along with that. Just to tell you can be healthy internally, externally, feel good inside and outside. Now, the amazing part about it, too, is where this also equates with LFC lingerie fighting championships. This equates with everything that Healthy Male represents from the fitness side of things, from just everything in general, because we got some beautiful babes. LFC's logo is a little bit of MMA, a little bit of wrestling, a little bit of clothing. A Healthy Male was featured in the LFC calendar, which was presented by Miles Long with his photos. How great is it to see such amazing women, such athletes as LFC, Kyle, for you, just being represented by the brand and really showcasing their stuffs internally and externally? What do you think about how everything came into fruition with LFC, that is lingerie fighting championships? You know, and that, that's uh, funny because, um, you know, I'm a day trader and um, I came across LFC as they do uh, trade. And um, I looked at this ticker and I'm like, what, do, what exactly do they do? And then I found out about that. And I said, I reached out to Sean and I'm like, hey, we got to do something here. I really like what you're doing here with your athletes and so forth. And, um, you know, it's that um, type of market I think people uh, are want to look for. I mean, I went to a show with my brother, had a great time. Uh, people were there with their wives, girlfriends. And, you know, you could bring families there, too. I mean, it's it's good. It was fun. It was a uh, fun. It was um you know, uh, it was uh, a good, nice to watch. It was just, it was, you know, overall a pleasant experience and a good time. Um, so when I met Sean, um, we, we had a lot in common, you know, he's from, a, actually it's very strange. He's from a small town that I'm from in Sherwood Park, Canada. And uh, man, to tell you about a small world there. Um, his son plays hockey. We talked about hockey for a while and uh, we all went out to dinner here. I'll show you a photo here. We had um, a nice dinner here at the Bellagio here. And there's uh, some of the wrestlers here. Nice. I don't know their names um, by hand, but uh, man, they were just a, quite the entertainment. Oh, nice. 
the one person in particular in that photo that I did see, we got Lauren the Adventurous Checkerelli, who's a relatively newcomer as far as the LFC goes. She's been repping the brand all over TikTok. And I think what's great about that is from the social media side of things, LFC is doing their thing on TikTok. TikTok has become a sensation, not just for dancing and all these challenges, so to speak, but it has a lot of great influence from the beautiful women as well. She's repped the brand. We see a lot of people like Bella Inc., Bella Rockefeller, Sheena the Hungarian Hurricane Bathory has repped it, and she is another one very big into fitness. So you talking about that, getting from the dinner side of things and really get to know and obsess and really absorb what we have going on with the product, which is something I equate to back in the day when we had the LFL, which was the Lingerie Football League, which showcased beautiful women kicking ass on the gridiron, so to speak. So I think that overall sex appeal, and as the old saying goes and the old adage goes, sex sells. So I think that also comes hand in hand with everything, right, Kyle? You bet. We're in business for that reason. Right. And I look at it from a stance, too, as well. Like when you look at athletes and women nowadays, I think it's very empowering. And Amber, I include you in these sentiments as well. How is it for you? Because you being an influencer, but you also have that empowerment as, among, as far as women goes, whether it be fighting or just in general, you have that imagery that has that so on gravitational pull, if you will, for people to get involved, not just with healthy male, but that motivation. It must feel good for you for that empowerment side of things. Yes, it does. It does. And that's why I am the way that I am. I, I promote it loudly and I am clear about my intentions and even being a mother to three young little girls. It's important that they see me being healthy. She brings us little my one everywhere. Here. <laughs> oh she was starting to cry. I'm like, no, not right now. <laughs> <laughs> but my, my daughters are in the gym with me and, and hopefully they will carry on a healthy lifestyle as well. Since just leading by example. So that brings a smile to my face because when it comes to children, children are an extension of their parents. And I could say if they have the overall raise and the overall growth that you have, I think they're going to be amazing kids and they're going to continue to blossom and do a beautiful young children. I love that. I really do. And I look at it from a stance too, as well. They're with you. And one of the things I love about you, Miss Amber, is you have that hashtag of no excuses. If you're nine months pregnant, you're doing squats, you're doing your reps, you're getting that fitness in and that overall workout, then who is there anybody else to have that excuse, right? Right. And that's the biggest thing is no excuses. There's 24 hours in a day and most of us barely sleep six to seven, which we should sleep at least eight if we can. And then we don't work more than 12 hours a day. So what are you doing with the rest of your time? Exactly. And I look at it from a stance too, as well, like back in the mid nineties to make a pop culture reference, Hootie and the Blowfish had that song time while you punish me. And if we actually look at it, time doesn't really punish us. It motivates us, whether we get up, what have you. I mean, we have our lives and God has blessed us to get up for the next day. You know what I'm saying? To continue to grind and shine. But I think it's up to us if we want to get off our butts, like we mentioned earlier on in the conversation, we all have that ability to put in the time and put in the work. So don't regress, like I mentioned, and just let everything slip by. Yeah. And, you know, you got to put exercise into your lifestyle like you do brushing your teeth, uh, eating breakfast or lunch in the day. It's just 30 minutes out of your day is all it takes to be healthy. And you don't even need to be lifting heavy weights or doing outlandish things, even just getting up and moving around throughout the day, getting your blood flowing for continuous movement for at least 30 minutes. You're doing your body way better than anything. Absolutely. I think to quote Ice Cube, we had a song back in the day called Till We Rich with Crazy Bone. It's like, get your mind right, get your grind right. We got to keep going. There's a lot of empowerment. There's a lot of validity in those sentiments and those lyrics. We just have to find that right inspiration around us, right? Right. Now for you, Kyle, finding that inspiration, what we're doing here now, you have not just for the fitness side of things, the sexual side of things and the love making and everything that goes into it to provide a healthy relationship. And I use that key word intimately here, the relationship. I mean, the relationship with your clientele from hair loss, what have you, to really overall the facets and variety that you provide with healthy male. It's got to be great for you to just see how it's helping a lot of these people in different assets and really transitions into their life. You bet. And uh, let me jump back to something real quick here. Amber and I, we are starting a new project. Um, we're writing a book called Cheat Meal. Um, so right now we're doing research and um, we're trying to uh, incorporate a cheat meal a day, right? So as people try to use a cheat meal every once a week, we're saying, well, maybe we can do it every day. You know, so we're trying to really check macros and you know a lot more about that than I do, but we feel like it's a real interesting product uh, for the fitness side of it. So uh, we just started that actually um, a couple weeks ago and uh, Amber's uh, leading that with our writer and um, we're going to have a, a new fitness form that we're going to be doing and uh, it's, it's something that's going to be cool to check out. 
Wonderful. And I can't wait for everybody to check that out as well. And I think from the cheat meal side of things, man, everybody's got a cheat meal. I'll be honest with you. I got a sweet tooth. Chocolate chip cookies is my go-to. I have advice. You know what I'm saying? Everybody does. But God dang, man, I think it's one of those things where sometimes you got to treat yourself, not overly much. You got to more, well, let's watch that portion control. But like I said, I think the cheat meal is something that a lot of people think of as like a detriment, but sometimes you have it if you have it in the right portions. And now Amber, I'll ask you about that as far as the cheat meal side of things goes. I just know that I've written out meal plans before for my clients. And a lot of times they'll look at me scared, almost like they're afraid to give up certain things. And so then they're already setting themselves up for failure. So what if we could come up with a concept of people that are just trying to really lose a few pounds, you know, uh, become better all health and, and mental health, health and wellness mental and health. performance and everything throughout the day. So how could they start to eat cleaner? but still not give up everything that they enjoy or love. And so we're doing research and we're trying to find out, can you have a cheat meal a day? And within reason as well. So we give examples of what these cheat meals will be. There are so many fad diets out there and everything. So we don't want to tout that it's a diet. We want to make it more of a lifestyle change. And I think that's wonderful. And we talk about like stuff like a lot of people talk about diet, but if you actually live the lifestyle for someone who, for example, is like straight edge, they don't drink, they don't smoke, they don't do any of that and put that into their body. I think anything in life, because if you look at it, everything in life is an art form. We're all just applying our crafts. If you look at it from that standpoint, I think it's like you mentioned the mental health side of things, because unfortunately, depression is very big. And we see a lot of people, unfortunately, with such untapped potential lives end early. But I think a lot of people can increase their lives and increase their mental health and stability if they have that mindset of just making everything a lifestyle and really sticking to the plan and trusting the process. Yes. Yeah. Now for you, Kyle, I'm going to say when it comes to the process, man, y'all been doing this thing for 20 God dang years. And it's one of those things where you just keep going and going. And I know looking from a stance from you moving onward and upward, it's amazing just to see people with such the overall passion, the grit and determination, like yourself, Amber, like yourself, Kyle, that are really doing this thing really just for the right reasons and the positive reasons. And it's really great. And it's really heartwarming just to see a lot of people having the overall positive effects within your products. Absolutely. And, you know, the products we sell, you know, um, are good sellers because men need these products. Uh, we are moving towards uh, women products as well, but our focus has been selling uh, the male products, you know, the embarrassment products. Um, we're getting into a lot of um, premature ejaculation um, products and kits and devices. Um, there's a lot of um, sexual tension and anxiety in the bedroom. Uh, you know, my staff here, we're, we're well trained to explain how our process works and how these products can help. I know there's a lot of, um, you know, ph phony pills and, you know, products that ship outside the country, uh, non-licensed products, um, you know, so we, that's been a fight, you know, a battle uh, between us and those counterfeiters for several years. And, um, you know, that's been a constant fight for us and, um, you know, we're winning the battle. I got to look at it from a stance on the sexual health side of things. And I mean, some people would be embarrassed, you know what I'm saying? But also at the same time, it's like stuff like this happens. And sometimes you need that increase in boost to make that one, two, three L-O-V-E love in the bedroom. But it's one of those things like if it can you help you in a positive way, whether it be in the bedroom or, ha or what have you, the positivity is the main thing as well. But it's one of those things to have that increased performance and having that relationship and that bond, everything gels very cohesively. I think that's wonderful for the partners. And I think that's wonderful for the sexual side of things as well, because we talk about sex sales and the sexuality and the voluptuosity encompasses with that lovemaking. Yeah, and I actually have a kit here if you want to go through it. We can. This is our healthy male kit. It's a, our premature ejaculation kit, and um, you know it comes with some desensitizing wipes, uh, uh, lubes, and uh, some rings and so forth. So, uh, you know, from the uh, from hearing the customer feedback, this stuff works. They want this kit to go along with their medication uh, to help maintain, and then the products for performance. So, uh, there's again, there's just uh, with how fast things are moving these days, and um, you know relationships failing and new ones coming along people want to be able to be ready and you know um have a good sexual experience and, and make their partners happy and um you know that's the fun part here is really reading the good reviews and um uh knowing that the people um you know tell their friends about our service and um just hearing the good things that they say about how it's how it's uh, improved their lifestyle and, um, you know, th that's what makes this job fun. I mean, I still, 
um, in a call center, I'll take the few odd calls and, and uh, you know, I enjoy, you know, discussing our products and, and making that sale and, um, you know, making sure they come back, you know, knowing that they come back is a good feeling. Now, Amber, for you, I have to ask you this question, because like we were talking about the female empowerment and all the roles that female play, whether it be mother, what have you, and that female figure, that female bond is absolutely wonderful for you, Miss Amber. How amazing is it to see from the modeling side of things and the athlete side of things, man, we got women of all different shapes and sizes, absolutely beautiful women. How amazing is it to see from the imagery standpoint and the shine that rightfully so women are getting nowadays or as far as fitness, bodybuilding, sports, and what have you. How amazing is that to see just women getting their shine, which they rightfully so deserve and really everything come into the forefront and the gravitational pull for women all in all. I think it's nice. And I, I think that um, I am all for a woman using her body for empowerment as well, especially if you work hard to maintain your body and to fit exercise and a healthy diet into your routine every day, you deserve to show it off. And the one thing that I hear a lot of from women is that they don't feel comfortable looking at the reflection in the mirror. Even some of my clients, I say, turn and face the mirror so you can see your form. And they say, oh, I don't like to look at myself in the mirror. Well, why not? You only get one shot here on this earth. You only get one chance at this and you only get one body. So you need to be comfortable in your skin no matter what. But I think it's good that women are feeling more and more comfortable with being sexual and with showing it off and with using that because they are healthy and they are comfortable with who they are. Now, I got to say, Christina Aguilera once had that song, Well, Rule My Reflection, show off the Mulan sack track back in the 90s. I think when people look at their reflection, I think it's one of those things. I mean, we talk about taking that hard look into the mirror, you know, that come to Jesus moment, if you will. I think if we actually look at our reflections deep into it, it's one of those things we really find our true selves and the overall essence of who we are. And I think that's wonderful because sometimes it does take that proverbial time. But once we get there and everything comes into suffice into fruition, it really does showcase for men and women of every people in general. I was just wondering if it was just me. Maybe I just like to look in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Flex, you know what I'm saying? You're dripping in finesse. Don't make no sense. We all have to have that confidence. It's not cockiness. It's confidence. So, I mean, everybody, I think it's wonderful to have that body confidence in, in general. So it's, it's I think so too. Even when I see women that are uh, maybe in their seventies and they're still on the beach wearing a bikini, like good for you, you know, and, and then maybe that translates over into being more confident and comfortable in the bedroom as well with their sexual partners. And that's why I like healthy male because all of the products that we sell, it's to help you feel more confident and comfortable, whether you're naked in the bedroom with somebody or you're standing in public presenting a meeting. I look at it from a stance too, from the people who are in their 60s and 70s. Now that is wonderful for that overall time and that overall long term within their relationships, whether it be 20, 30, 40, 50 plus years. It's one of those things to see someone who is of that age set in that overall age bracket, just showing off their stuff. Because I mean, like I said, we progress in everything in life and succeed. So it's one of those things just to see someone of that age group. It really does. It makes someone feel good. It makes them feel, you know, it feels good. You know, it's not just old. It's just them feeling great and wonderful, you know? Well, you're only as old as you feel. And really, I think 70s is not even old anymore if you take care of yourself. Exactly. And I look at it from a stance, too. There are so many um, amazing women of their 60s and 70s, hell, even into their 80s, man. It's one of those things where they keep themselves in check and they keep themselves from not being inept. So I think that's wonderful. And uh, Kyle, going back to you for a second here, man, for you, we all have that product. We all have that fruition. We all have that grind. Now, for you, you've got a lot of products on the hair loss side of things. And I'll be honest with you, sometimes as men, we get bald, you get that little bald spot action. How amazing is it to see to help people as far as the hair growth and all stuff on that end? Because sometimes a little if us men need that, you know what I'm saying? Well, you know what? Um, we actually do a program. If um, if the men call in and uh, mention that they saw this video on, um, on your podcast, uh, I'll give them a free um, 30 day or even 90 day supply if they could send us some before and after pics, you know, because again, that content's good. I want to know that our product works for the men. If they're willing to, you know, do that for us. Uh, they can call our team and just mention that they mentioned and we'll go ahead and send them up a free sample. And I look at it from a stance too as well, which first of all, people please do because it does help the, help the hair loss and everything in regards to your overall hair and your acumen. I think a lot of people talk about the phrase bald is beautiful, but at the same time as well, when you're losing your hair, you know what I'm saying? It's one of those things. And I'll say it from a, from a particular standpoint here, when you have that hair, you know, whether it be long, short or what have you, you got that hair on your head, you know what I'm saying? You want to look fly, maybe spike it up a little bit, get some gel in there, whatnot. But at the same time, it really is something that is really great to see just the overall standpoint from your hair and overall style and finesse and your 
fashion that goes into feeling good from an external standpoint, you know? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And I look at it from a stance too as well, guys. When you look at Healthy Meal and you see amazing people like Kyle, like Amber here, it's one of those things that makes you proud and it makes you feel good to see something from a business side of things and overall people side of things that love what they do and they're passionate for it. And I'm going to say this, guys, first and foremost, it's been a hell of a time talking with you. It's an absolute pleasure on my end. I'm happy to give you the platform. So I will use the overture here. Anytime you guys want to come back on, promote some Healthy Meal and just shoot the breeze and have a fun conversation, you're more than welcome to. I'd love to have a round two with you both. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. Now, Kyle, this is where I step back from the social media side of things. And everybody will get to you in a second here. Please promote Healthy Mail. Everybody can find it on all sorts of social media. Please go right ahead. Okay. Um, so hit, go to healthymail.com. Uh, use coupon code LFC4 and you'll receive a free Viagra. Just pay $5 for shipping. Um, or again, go to Healthy Mail and use the coupon code LFC5. And um, that'll give you... 30 free hair loss pills uh, with just $5 shipping. Um, people want to go with us over the competitors because we don't do any auto billing. Uh, there's a lot of, um, um, I like to say not scams, but they bait you in there. Not, uh, the fine print is you have to go through that. But here we don't, we don't hide behind fine print. We tell the truth up front, uh, get you the products you deserve at a, at a good price. And you, you come to us when you're ready. We're not going to auto charge your card every month. Uh, it's just not what we do. Um, and you're going to get the genuine FDA approved USA grade products. Uh, um, you can speak to our doctors at any time. You have a problem with the medication or you have a side effect. Our pharmacists are available. Um, you know, it's just it's such a, an easy, clean platform for um, all the users that it's just, you know, and that's, you know, what we do here, you know, making things better, learn from our mistakes. That's why I work with, uh, you know, my call center crew and what are these problems? Let's fix them, get with IT, move on, you know, so we have a really good uh, system in place here and it's, it's been a clean Beautifully said, my friend, and links will be in the description. Now, Amber Kala, I've seen you do your thing on the Healthy Mail with the TikTok side of things, like we mentioned, the squats and your overall fitness acumen. Is if you like to promote your links as well, please, the floor is yours as well. Sure. We actually released an app last year um, and I am featured on the app and it's another way for you to browse products and see what else we offer. It, people can download it, whether they have Apple or another phone. It's a healthy mail. Yeah, it's in the app store under healthy mail healthy for mail. Android and uh, Apple users. And you can log in your food that you intake. There are ideas of healthy meals on there. Um, there are free exercises people can follow along with. Um, and then we filmed at the end of last year, a whole 21 day challenge as well that people can join all through the app. And then we are also on um, Instagram, which I am big active on Instagram uh, at go healthy mail. And then we are also on TikTok where you found us. And I've been playing around with TikTok, so they're not all perfected yet, but we'll start to feature a lot more of our products and our um, laundry boxers and all those things. And you'll go or live. Wrestlers, you'll, go, you'll go live every once in a while. go too. live. I'll feature more workouts now that I'm able to kind of be myself again back in the gym. Um, so check us out on TikTok. What's our TikTok? Oh, is it? At, I have to look at it. Yeah. There's so many things I have to remember now. On yeah, top you just type, type in healthy mail. You'll find it. I think it's through, through healthy mail. Yeah. We'll say this. I got my Android here, folks. Download the healthy mail app. It's one. <laughs> It's one of those things where I got to say right now, y'all do a lot of great work. And I got to say, first and foremost, on the TikTok side of things, please follow them on TikTok because there's a lot of great content, Twitter, Instagram, social media is all the lore in today's day and age. So definitely check it out on all forms. Links will be in the description below this. And as I always say, before we close this out, LaundryFC.com, go to the website. We got LFC 36 Booty Camp 4 coming to you Friday, May 13th, 2022. It's going to be a fun night of healthy action, a lot of fun times, and a lot of great people all encompassed with the LFC brand and beauty, strength, and dominance, three key elements that make women the work of art that they are. And Miss Amber Kala and all the women who are healthy male influencers and models, I include them in those sentence. And Kyle, you are doing an amazing job and an amazing work. I look forward to working with you guys again. Thank you guys so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you as well.